What I'm seeing a lot of from my firearms people here at RMSDF is they're just standing there and not able to incorporate their hand-to-hand -hand skills because they feel like they have the answer. And that guy is still coming. That video is circulating with that officer getting charged with the guy with the stick. And we'll insert it here. I need to incorporate my hand-to-hand -hand skills with my firearm skills. That is the Citizen Defender Program here at RMSDF and our Peaceful Warrior Program. If I have this weapon and he is still coming, I need an answer. I need an answer here. Uh, it's tough when I'm talking. Uh, so look. That's what I had to do. No, that was fine. It was me. I just fucked up. Look, this guy is still coming. He's still coming, he's still coming. So if that's to my neck, that's not a day I want to take. Right? He may be dying, but now I've taken one to the karate. So for me here, I want some sort of hand-to-hand -hand skill. It might be a block, it might be a redirection of some sort, it might be a scoop and a way. It all depends on that angle of that weapon and how it's coming at me. So guys, you need your hand-to-hand -hand skills even though you need your firearm. You can also just be thinking, we see so many firearms guys just there and not just working their basic movement, right? Get offline. Do not be on the X, right? Get off the X, move. That's the things we're doing in our Citizen Defender program where things you're not able to do at the range, right? I can't work this under stress. Jordy can come at me a lot faster in all these drills as we go through them. All right, guys, get out there and train.